Hey y'all, so I'm doing the, as you can tell from the title, I'm doing the, my August favorites. It's not a lot. A lot of people have a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I'm just going to do a couple of things from my face to my eyes to my lips to like what something I like to cook, something I like to drink, from my smell, all that stuff. Just, it's a few things, not a lot. So this is not going to be a long video. But first I want to say, um, somebody actually inboxed me and told me that my, something I have in my background is very ugly. And they was talking about that hat right there. First of all, that hat, it, it belonged to my grandmother. She was the head mother at our church and that was one of her hats and I kept it after she passed away. It stays there on the china cabinet that's been in my family for over 30 years or something like that. So yeah, I just wanted to address that. So let's get started. Um, First I have the Olay Mascara Makeup and the Olay Mascara and Makeup Remover. It says it frees skin of stubborn, pore clogging makeup, including waterproof mascara. This is what it looks like. Um. So, I don't. I don't really like. Well, I can't say don't like. It doesn't remove waterproof mascara. If, Like when you, to get your, it removes it, but you have to work really hard. Like I literally scrub my eyes, take my eyelashes and like rub them. And then I get a Q-tip and wipe it. And you have to do a lot to get the mascara off. But as far as makeup and like eyeshadow and everything, it gets that off. But I do use a baby wipe first. And then afterwards, I wash my face. This, um, it says that it's a no rinse formula, but it has the consistency. Let me see if you can see it. It's like, it's like a lotion, almost like a really thin lotion. And once you put it on, it, it's kind of like there. I don't understand. I wash mine off. Because I feel like leaving it on there just leaves the makeup and all that stuff on. And you have to... I have huge pores around my nose. So I have to get that stuff out of there or whatever. So I I rinse it off and then wash my face. So going into washing my face. Um, I'm using right now the Clean and Clear Foaming Facial Cleanser. It looks like this. Love this stuff. As you can see, I'm almost out. Uh, me and my husband, me and my husband uses this. So um, when I go back to get some more, I'm probably get two bottles. I love the whole clear and clean line, so I'm gonna get some more stuff as well. Uh, on top of this, this clean and clean and clear, I've been using the clean and clear body. This is Boost Mango and Papaya. It's the Morning Burst Body Wash. Yeah, I never paid attention to mango and papaya, but it does smell like, more like, it has more of a citrus smell, but you can smell the mango. Yeah, you can smell it, but this is what this looks like. It's really good. I love this stuff. And it's not harsh on my skin. Um, like I was, I have acne. And a lot of, um, I have eczema as well. So I was using the proactive, but that's really harsh on my skin. So I switched to clean and clear and it's been doing great. It doesn't burn my eczema or anything. So, and I have dry skin. It doesn't dry me out at all. So next thing is this, the Cetaphil. Uh, I, I recently bought this. It's been about, it's been a couple of weeks and I use this every night. I don't use it in the morning though. I use it every night. Um, I have something else for in the morning, but I'm not a big fan of it. So I'm currently searching for something else. So if you know of something else I can use in the morning, let me know. But this, I use it at night. 
This is from Avon. Now, I'm not a big Avon fan, but this was a gift for helping with a conference. Uh, this is Footworks. Uh, it's the Overnight Renewing Foot Cream. And it looks like this. Now, this is great. It has... I'm going to see if you can see it. Not sure if you can see that it has little pink beads in it. Um, it's great. I love this stuff. I put it on every night. Well, my husband puts it on my feet every night. Um, it's great. So you should really invest in this. My feet. I have horrible feet. I don't. I don't know what it is. Well, I'm a dancer, so I'm usually barefoot on some floors. But I have really. I have calluses and everything, and this stuff makes my feet so soft um next i've been using the wet n wild uh palette this is a little small palette it uh, i guess it's supposed to be like a tutorial type thing something to help you for beginners i am a beginner in makeup as well um but it has the eyelid which is like a pinkish peaches type peach type color the crease which is brown and the um brow balm i can swatch these for you really quick that's what they look like this is the brow balm the uh, crease and the eyelid that's what that looks like and I, that's my go-to palette. Like, if I'm in a rush or something like that, I throw this on really quick because it's always in my purse. Sometimes I have to do my makeup in the car because I'm usually late, which I'm always late for everything. I'm working on it. Don't judge me. Now, this is one of my favorites. This is, as you can see, I've had this for a while. A while. I mean, like, maybe a year or so. But I've been wearing it a lot this month this is kate moss perfume um my daughter broke the top i'm sorry but this is by kate moss it smells it has a um i'm bad with smells y'all i can't tell you how but it really smells good it, it smells so good next now i bought this originally for my daughter but i've been using it um, this is the Just For Me Hair Milk with Shea Butter, Soy Milk, and Honey. It's the Curl Smoother. It says it defines curls and controls frizz, and it's for natural hair. I paid $5.49 for it from the beauty supply store. And it doesn't really work in my daughter's hair. So I was like, I'm not wasting $5.49. So if you're wondering how I get my curls recently, I wet my hair. Put this in it, let it air dry. That's that's literally what I've been doing for the past two weeks or something like that. Next, all right, so I cannot live without these two drinks. I'm drinking this, my Lipton Green Tea Citrus, 100% natural, almost every morning. I'm not a coffee person unless it's like um, maybe cappuccino, in which I tend to drink that at night. Um, yeah, so I've been drinking this every morning and something else that's very bad for me. I know I shouldn't be drinking it and I've been slowing down. I haven't been drinking it as much, but I, I need my Pepsi at least, at least twice a week. I need to drink this and I feel bad because I just bought a case of these and my husband hates that I drink this, but I need my Pepsi. And then the last thing is, I make uh, seafood gumbo, and I'm a big cook cooker, but I don't make it from scratch. Uh, this is the gumbo mix that I use. Uh, I it's just so quick and so easy. I just don't want to make it from scratch. I'm gonna do it one day, but I don't want to. I'm gonna do it one day though. Um. Like I said, it's quick and easy. You put this in the water, boil it, add your shrimp. Now, I put shrimp and crab legs and chicken and sausage in there. And I don't... It's just quick and easy. 
I do have to add extra rice to it because I like rice. My husband don't, but I add the extra rice for myself. But this is just, this is the bomb. Y'all don't understand. It's so quick and easy. So, yes, get you some if you want to make it. All you have to do is boil it and add your stuff. Best stuff ever. My husband loves it. He wants me to make it like once a month at least. Um, that's that's all I have for my favorites. And I thank everyone that's been subscribing and liking my videos. Until next time.